We can choose to alleviate suffering. We can choose to work together for peace. And we will fight our wars against poverty, ignorance, and injustice. Our commitment to human rights must be absolute. The passion for freedom is on the rise. Growing up in Plains, Georgia, Jimmy Carter was truly a product of his parents. His mother represented a very tender heart. His father represented a very tough mind. You've got to have a tough mind and a tender heart. And I think Jimmy Carter was born that way. Jimmy Carter entered the Democratic presidential race a political unknown. Outside of Georgia, hardly anyone even recognized his name. But that would change. Jimmy who? Jimmy Carter. Jimmy who? I don't know who he is. Jimmy Carter's baseball player, isn't he? Well, I got nothing against him. Uh, looks to me he's all right. You know what I mean? Yeah, he's a Democrat, all right? One of the most significant accomplishments of the Carter administration and President Carter personally was a treaty of peace between uh, Israel and, and Egypt. Carter came into the presidency convinced that we needed peace between Israel and her neighbors, and he wanted to lead in that effort, and um, he did it. Jimmy and Rosalind Carter have done more good things for more people in more places than any other couple on the face of the earth. Jimmy Carter is this year's winner of the Nobel Peace Prize. The former president received the word earlier this My name's Jimmy. Jimmy and Sadia. In the presidency, he got a sense of the fact that the world can be changed, and it doesn't take a government to change it. 
It can be changed one person at a time, one disease at a time, building one house at a time. He's led by something within, and he follows it wherever it leads. And it's not a matter of it being easy or successful. It just needs to be done. And if nobody else will do it, he'll try. God gives us a capacity for choice. We can choose to alleviate suffering. We can choose to work together for peace. We can make these changes. And we must.